right, but look, Claire, you have been at Bayview for two years, and this woman only left Philly a couple months ago. How is it possible that you know her? You seriously still don't believe me? Sierra, I just told you where this woman is from, where her boyfriend's from, and I know that her name is Gwen. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you know her name. It's clear that you know a few things about her, but the important thing is, do you know where she is? So you're reading uh, Dostoevsky, huh? Yeah, I read notes from the underground a few years ago, but haven't tackled this one. Yeah, me neither. One of these days. So how'd it go? Did you talk to Ben? Yeah, um, you know, I figured it'd be better to do it in person, just in case Jake was strong-arming him or something. Well, yeah, it's much easier to cover something like that up on the phone. Exactly. So was he covering? Not as far as I can tell. He stuck to a story, said he had no idea where Gabby is. And you believed him? I did. And then... Then... We, we sort of just, like, got to talking. About anything special? Yeah, kind of. Um, he asked me to be his best man. You're not thinking about answering that, are you? I'm not done with you. Look, I told you everything I know. Gabby went over to my place. I don't know anything about it. Yeah, I gotta say, I, I'm a little surprised that you two even give a damn about what happens to her. Why wouldn't we care? Well, maybe because she had her dead husband's heart transplanted into your grandmother's chest only to threaten to blow her up and at your wedding, no less, all to get you to dump this guy at the altar. <laughs> 